Hey guys, I'm so glad to see you today. I hope you had a fun week at home. I know you're loving spending all your time at home with your brothers and sisters, if you have any, and with mommy and daddy. I know you're having lots of fun. Let's see who's here. How about Oriana? Are you here? Hey, Oriana. And Zoe. Hey, sweet Zoe. How about Rosie? Hey, Rosie. Evie, you can dance along too. And Macy Jordan. Good morning, Macy. All right. And Katie and Liam. So good to see you here today. And Lana. Hello, Lana. And how about Miss Reagan? Hi, Reagan. And Macy Thompson, are you here? Okay, all right. We got to get our ballet shoes on. Everyone go get your ballet shoes. We're going to put them on. I'm going to do our warm-ups, all the same warm-ups we always do every time. Get your shoes on, and we'll do, be ready to do Baby Shark. Are you ready? Here we go. It's your favorite. Do your arms in. Everybody. 
everybody sing. La 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 la. Bow to your partner. Bow to your partner. Then you turn around. Yippee! Hands in the air, rock a violin. Bess is now asleep. Bess is now asleep. together, toes out, and then when we do number two, it goes like this. You step out, so just like the first position, but your legs are spread apart. And then what comes after number two? Three. When you do number three, you put your heel in the middle. Your heel is in the middle. Parents, it can be either side. Either foot is correct. All right, are you ready to sing our song? Everyone go to first position. Hold your big beach ball on your belly. Put your heels together, toes out. Here we go. First position, first position. Turned out toes, turned out toes. Arms just like a circle, arms just like a circle. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. What comes after number one? Number two. Second position, second position. Arms out wide, arms out wide. Take a big step out, take a big step out. I really try, I really try. What comes after number two? Number Three. Third position, third position. Point your toe, point your toe. Slide it to the middle, slide it to the middle. That's how it goes, that's how it goes. I hope you were singing along with me. You did such a great job. Are you ready to do your dumbo dance? Okay. Okay, since you've already learned your ballet dance, we're going to start going every week where we review a certain little step of it. So this week, we're going to review plie. Can everyone say plie? Plie. So this is how you do plie. You go to first position, toes out, 
Hold your big beach ball on your belly and you bend your knees and then squeeze straight. Bend and straight. Bend and straight. Bend and straight. Good job. All right, everybody get in first position. That's our first step of our Dumbo dance. So now that you've practiced plie, you're ready to do it in our dance. story time now and you know looking through all the books that my kids have acquired through the years I came across I'm um, an Easter one so that's really fun because Easter is going to be coming up I know we won't be doing um, the usual things that we do like um, hunting eggs at, at a, in the park or going to church or family dinners and things like that and that's kind of sad but you know you can still celebrate Easter and you know um, if you've got a big yard or even you can hide eggs in your house so parents, let's just all bond together to make still make these uh, wonderful, fun memories for our kids. Because, you know, I read something the other day saying, you know, that they will remember this time home with you and um, will often refer back to it as um, the best time of their life. So let's just all be committed to making lemonade out of lemons. And with that, we're going to read about Peter Cottontail is on his way. All right, he's on his way. Peter Cottontail is that big rabbit right there. It says, it was the day before Easter in April Valley, and Colonel Wellington B. Bunny was deciding who should replace him as Chief Easter Bunny. The Chief Easter Bunny is in charge of carving chocolates, sewing bonnets, and of course, decorating and delivering Easter eggs. Peter Cottontail is a likely candidate, he said to himself. I know he's not perfect, but he reminds me of me when he was, when I was that age. There he is, and there's little Peter Cottontail right there in the picture. You see him? Look at there. He's a rabbit. Later that day, Colonel Bunny presented Peter Cottontail with his official egg basket. Carry it with pride, he told the happy rabbit, but just as the colonel was about to declare Peter the new chief Easter bunny, Nasty Iron Tail arrived. Oh no, he's the bad guy, look at there, Iron Tail. 
According to the Constitution of April Valley, Iron Tail announced, the chief Easter Bunny shall be the one who delivers the most eggs. Iron Tail then challenged Peter to an egg delivering contest that would take place the very next day. I'm not afraid of Iron Tail, Peter told the, the Colonel confidently. Oh, they're going to be in a competition of who can deliver the most eggs. Peter was so sure that he was going to win that he threw a big party. He stayed up very late that night. Before he went to bed, he told his rooster alarm to wake him at 5.30 the next morning. Boy, that's early. I hope you haven't been getting up that early. Rosie, talking to you. As soon as Peter was asleep, Iron Tail snuck into his house and fed magic bubblegum to the rooster. Oh no, look at that. Look at that rooster eating that bubble gum. The next morning, the rooster couldn't cock a doodle do. Peter slept on and on all through Easter day. He looks like my teenager Reagan sleeping till noon every day. That's him. That same morning, Iron Tail set out to deliver his Easter eggs. Nobody wanted an egg from such a nasty bunny. Though he tried all day long, he was only able to give away one egg. But since Peter didn't deliver any eggs at all, Iron Tail won the contest. Oh, no. He kind of slipped it to that sleeping guy there. Peter Cottontail knew that he had let everybody down. He left April Valley promising to make it up to them somehow. After walking for days and days, Peter found himself in the Garden of Surprises with Seymour Sassafras. Look at there. Look at them in that big garden. That must be Seymour right there. Peter told Mr. Sassafras what had happened. And there isn't anything I can do about it because Easter is over, Peter added. Oh no, he really messed up this time. Mr. Sassafras had just the thing to help. It's a yester-morrow-mobile. What in the world is that? He explained to Peter. It can transport you into yesterday or tomorrow. Antoine the pilot could take Peter back to Easter so he could deliver his eggs and win the contest. Peter Cottontail, oh, he might have a solution to his problem. It's like a time machine. But not everything went as planned. Iron Tail discovered what Peter was up to and sent his spider to fiddle with the wires of the Yester Moray. Maybe instead of heading to Easter, Antoine and Peter landed right in the middle of Mother's Day. Oh my goodness. Peter tried his best, but no one wanted painted eggs on Mother's Day. Nope, none of us mothers want painted eggs on Mother's Day. No thanks. Next, they flew into, the, into a 4th of July celebration. No one was going to want Easter eggs on the 4th of July either, Peter said sadly. Easter eggs, no, but 4th of July eggs, maybe. You just have to improvise, suggested Antoine. Peter found costumes and paint and tried giving out eggs as the Independence Day bunny. But still, no one wanted his eggs. Oh, poor old Peter Rabbit. He tried so hard painting those eggs. Peter had the same bad luck. On Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. The next stop was Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness, look at him there. He's gone through all the holidays. Peter painted a whole basket of red and pink Valentine's eggs. Surely someone would want these beautiful eggs. But when Peter wasn't looking, Iron Tail found the eggs and put an evil spell on them. He turned them green inside and out look they look like avocados oh no no one at the valentine's party wanted peter's green eggs he hopped back into the yester mobile more upset than ever oh goodness the story's almost over boys and girls before long peter made another crash landing this time he found himself in the middle of saint patrick's day look at there Everywhere Peter looked, he saw green. He stood on a sidewalk offering free green eggs to anyone who wanted them. Peter's shamrock eggs were the hit of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. He gave away all his eggs and finally won the contest. Look at there, those green eggs. They wanted them on St. Patrick's Day because you're supposed to wear green that day. 
back in April Valley, Colonel Bunny congratulated Peter. You have shown great ingenuity. That means he really thought about it and came up with a good solution, a real creative one. Therefore, you have won the right to be the official Chief Easter Bunny, he said. Easter morning, everyone cheered as Peter delivered bonnets, jelly beans, chocolates, and of course, Easter eggs to all the children of the world. Look at Peter Rabbit. Oh, Peter Cottontail. He's got all those eggs. Are you gonna get some eggs and dye your eggs? And then we can hide them. Mommy and Daddy can hide them, you can find them, and then you can hide them, and Mommy and Daddy can find them. That'll be so fun. Okay, today we're gonna learn a new section of our jazz dance, and it's a step you already know. So this part comes after the kick, kick. So you're gonna go kick, kick, jump, 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 jump. Remember you do that four times. Then you get to do your favorite part where you boogie and slap the ground. Lay down and boogie and play that funky music till you die. Two, three, four, jump up. Six, seven, eight. So that is your new part for jazz. Um, so we're gonna add that on. Are you ready to do jazz? All right, let's play that funky music. She's on. We're going to make lots and lots of noise. All right, get them on, everybody. Put your tap shoes on. All right. It's going to be a beautiful day today. You can go outside. You can play with sidewalk chalk. You can run around in your yard. Go down the slide. Go for a walk. That would be a nice thing to do today. All right. Let's tap. All right, we're gonna also learn some more that goes on our tap dance today. You kinda got a little sneak peek of it last week of the heels. So let's all practice our heels. Hands on our hip. Put your heel to the side. Ready, go. Heel, 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 heel. Good job. Let's do the other side. Ready, go. Heel, 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 heel. Good job. In your dance, you're gonna go three and step on it. So you're gonna start with your right foot. Ready, go. One, two, three, step. One, two, three, step. One, two, three, step. One, two, three, step. Great. 
great job. Now, we're gonna add those heels onto our tap dance. Here we go. the nice rest of your day. Let's sing our goodbye song. Ready, set, go. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Wink your eye and show a smile. Jeez. Now it's time to say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye to our friends. See you later.